Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. Good Tuesday afternoon. I'm Karen Drew. First at four, we've got some breaking news after a home repair project takes a dangerous turn in Canton. Firefighters were called for a medical emergency and then they started to feel sick. Our Rod Maloney is at the scene. So Rod, what do we think happened inside that house? Well, we just got the word now, Karen, that it was a uh, gas powered saw cutting cement in the basement that caused all of this commotion out here today. Here's the house behind me here. Uh, it's the garage doors open. They've been airing it out all afternoon. But let's take a look at the scene earlier this afternoon. Uh, it was a situation where these plumbers were working in the basement, cutting a trench uh, in the basement floor. Uh, when one of the workers was overcome by fumes, his partner called 911 right away. He was having trouble breathing. So they sent firefighters out here. And let's hear from Joshua Meyer and uh, talk about what it was that the firefighters discovered when they got here. When they entered the structure, when they entered the home, uh, they noticed something that smelled out of, out of the ordinary. Uh, at that point, the firefighters made a decision to, to exit the home and put on self-contained self breathing apparatus to re-enter the home because the male uh, was reportedly in the basement having some sort of medical emergency. Uh, when the firefighters re-entered the home, they found an unresponsive person in the basement. They were able to get that person out of the home uh, at which point one of our firefighters collapsed. Now that firefighter uh, was responsive here in the scene, brought to St. Joseph Ann Arbor Hospital. They tell us that he's okay, um, that he's going to be all right. He's in stable condition. We're still waiting to hear word on the work of the original plumber who was overcome by the fumes. We believe him to be much more seriously injured in here. The rest of the group, the three other firefighters and the other plumber, went to St. Joseph's Ann Arbor Hospital as well, but that was just as a precaution. So as it stands right now, Canton Fire Department just cleared the scene here as we were coming on the air, and they believe that everything has returned to normal here. Reporting live in Canton, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, that is some good news. We'll check back with you tonight at 5. Thank you, Rod.